Welcome to our new series, Automaker Profile, where we delve into the rich history of Chinese automakers. Join us every Sunday as we explore the origins of giants like JAC, BYD, Dongfeng, and newcomers like Xpeng and Wuling. Today, we focus on Neo, a promising star in the EV startup scene and one of JAC's value customers. In the past, the Chinese car industry was primarily led by government committees and civil servants, leaving little space for visionary individuals like Henry Ford's or Enzo Ferrari's. However, around the turn of the century, a change occurred as privately owned car companies emerged, opening doors for innovative engineers and enthusiastic entrepreneurs to pursue their own visions and inventions. With the rise of new energy vehicle manufacturers, visionary entrepreneurs like NEO's founder, Li Bin, have taken center stage, shaping the industry's future. Li Bin, hailing from a humble background as the son of a dairy farmer, ventured into business at a young age by assisting his grandfather in selling cows. Thanks to his parents' savings for his education, Li pursued a bachelor's degree in sociology with minors in law and computer science at Peking University. After graduation, Li established his internet enterprise in 1996, which eventually evolved into Bid Auto Holdings, a prominent platform for automotive services, marketing, advertising, and car news. The company's remarkable growth led to its successful sale in 2013, making Lee financially well off. He further invested in startups like Mobike and Green Initiatives while contemplating his new venture. In November 2014, Lee established NextEV Incorporated in the Cayman Islands, serving as an overseas holding company for his high-end electric car enterprise to be founded in China, named Shanghai Weilai Automobile, meaning blue sky coming in Chinese. Impressively, Lee convinced notable Chinese tech moguls, including Ma Huadeng from Tencent, Lei Jun from Xiaomi, and Li Xiang from Chihijia, later creating LI Auto, to invest in NextEV. Tencent and Baidu also joined as significant investors shortly after. The rise of NextEV initially garnered limited attention beyond China, but that changed when it became the title sponsor for Team China Racing in Formula E's inaugural season, 2014-2015. With lead driver Nelson Piquet Jr. winning the championship, NextEV gained global recognition. In 2016, they acquired the team, developed their powertrain, and established operations in the UK. Their remarkable development continued, and NextEV's first road car, EP9, was a remarkable feat, featuring a carbon fiber Lola sports car monocoque for electric motors delivering a total of 1,000 kilowatts power, torque vectoring, and exchangeable batteries. This impressive car set a production car lap record at Germany's Nürburgring, and at the same time, NextEV revealed its new commercial name, NEO, during the London unveiling event. Consequently, they rebranded several companies under the NEO name. NEO's rapid growth continued, establishing subsidiaries in Germany and the United States in 2015 for car design and autonomous systems slash software development, respectively. They also created XPT, a parallel company serving as a technology supplier, manufacturing electric motors, battery packs, charging solutions, and home storage for NEO. In 2016, NEO signed a deal with state-owned car manufacturer JAC to produce their road cars, bypassing the need for their production license. With solid foundations in place, NEO made its public debut in November 2017 with the opening of the first NEO house in Shanghai, followed by the unveiling of their first production car the next month, along with the commencement of pre-orders. In less than three years, NEO accomplished impressive infrastructure development to become a manufacturer and presented an almost production-ready car. The NEO ES8, Combining Technology and Challenges The NEO ES8, a premium SUV with cutting-edge features, made a splash in London. Built in collaboration with Tata Technologies, its lightweight aluminum body boasted a skateboard design akin to Tesla. Equipped with air suspension, double wishbones in front, and multi-link rear, the ES8 offered a six- or seven-seater configuration. 
Its powerful 480 kilowatts output, consisting of an induction motor at the front axle and a permanent magnet motor at the rear, ensured impressive speed. The 70 kilowatt hour battery pack, using prismatic cells supplied by CATL, was not only swappable but also powered NEO's level 2 autonomous driving system, NEO Pilot. The interior featured large touch screens, taking cues from Tesla, and an endearing addition, NEO's own driver assistant, Nomi. Though initially praise and deliveries commenced in the summer of 2018, the ES8 faced setbacks when several units caught fire due to a faulty plug jacket. NEO conducted a comprehensive investigation, leading to a recall of all cars produced in early 2019. While the challenges dented NEO's flawless image, the company continued its quest for innovation and improvement. Corporate Affairs, NEO's Complex VIE Structure and Strategic Joint Ventures NEO, right from its inception, operates as a Variable Interest Enterprise, VIE, a sophisticated corporate structure aimed at circumventing China's restrictions on foreign investment in certain industries. This structure relies on contractual agreements between a Chinese operating company and a Hong Kong-based holding company, which is ultimately owned by an overseas entity, in NEO's case, NEO Incorporated in the Cayman Islands. Notably, there is no direct shareholding relationship between the overseas holding company and the domestic operating company. This structure gained prominence when Alibaba adopted it for its IPO on the New York Stock Exchange. For NEO, the VIE structure serves a similar purpose, particularly for a startup in a capital-intensive industry. To propel the company forward, securing ample investment is critical. In September 2018, we've been marked a significant milestone by ringing the bell in New York for NEO's public offering, which raised over a billion dollars. Prior to this, NEO had already established two joint ventures with state-owned car manufacturers in China. The first partnership with Chan'an focuses on developing components and services related to electric cars. The second joint venture, in collaboration with Guangzhou Automobile, GAC, is more ambitious, aiming to combine GAC's production capabilities with NEO's technological advancements to introduce mainstream electric car models. These strategic alliances position NEO for continued growth and innovation in the competitive automotive landscape. Navigating Turbulent Waters, NEO's Struggles, and Hafei's Rescue in the midst of 2019, NEO introduced its second model, the ES6, a more conventional mid-size five-seat SUV with a regular steel body, equipped with air suspension, and available only as a dual-motor 4WD model. The ES6 showcased CATL's cutting-edge low-cobalt batteries, NCM8111, putting NEO on par with Tesla in terms of efficiency. The ES6 launch was a strategic move by NEO to enter a more affordable segment and increase its market reach. However, as the ES6 hit the market, NEO faced a multitude of challenges. The company had expended substantial funds during its initial stages, and cash reserves were depleting rapidly. Additionally, the Chinese government's reduction in consumer benefits and subsidies for electric cars led to a sharp decline in the market. Meanwhile, NEO was still reeling from the negative publicity surrounding the ES8 recall and was striving to boost ES6 sales volumes. Amidst these struggles, the outbreak of an unknown virus in Wuhan added further uncertainty. By early 2020, NEO found itself teetering on the edge of bankruptcy. With cash injections into the new energy sector halting amid the COVID pandemic, the situation became dire. In a desperate quest for financial support, Li Bin, NEO's founder, explored various avenues. Speculations abounded in the media. Ultimately, NEO's lifeline came from an unexpected source, the local government of Hefei, a city in Anhui province. Through investment funds, the government infused over 10 billion yuan into NEO, gaining a significant shareholding in NEO China. In return, NEO committed to relocate its headquarters from Shanghai to Hefei. This remarkable rescue by the government saved an independent company, leading to unprecedented developments that followed. Rejuvenation amidst turbulent times, 
Neo's remarkable journey in 2020. The year 2020 proved to be a momentous one for the automotive industry, with Tesla's stock price soaring to unprecedented heights, surpassing the combined market value of the next 20 global car makers. Simultaneously, China's new energy vehicle, NEB, market experienced a resurgence driven by Tesla's production in its Shanghai factory and the introduction of Wuling's affordable Hongguang Mini EV, both dominating sales charts. In the latter half of the year, China's economy rebounded, bolstered by effective pandemic control measures. Amidst these favorable developments, NIO quickly regained its footing, witnessing a surge in sales and a tremendous rise in its stock value, akin to Tesla's trajectory. By the year's end, NIO's market value even surpassed that of SAIC, a massive conglomerate selling significantly more cars than NIO. This newfound success enabled NIO to repurchase shares from Hefei's investment funds, regaining ownership of 90% of its Chinese operations. The company strategically revamped its business relations, scaling back joint ventures with Chan'an and GAC, while establishing a new partnership with JAC for a state-of-the-art production facility in Hefei. Additionally, NIO made investments in Wuhan's new battery factory, positioning itself for continued growth and innovation in the dynamic EV landscape. While some fellow startups and even formerly successful companies faced adversity or bankruptcy, NIO emerged stronger, showcasing resilience and adaptability in challenging times. Building Community – NIO's Unique Marketing Strategy Lee Bin's background in sociology influenced NIO's distinct marketing approach, setting the brand apart from its mass market counterparts. Forgoing traditional dealerships, NIO embraces a strong online presence and fosters a powerful community that rallies behind the brand. NIO's social media app enables owners to connect, discuss their cars, access exclusive benefits, and purchase merchandise, creating a vibrant and loyal community. The NEO House, another marketing innovation, serves as a clubhouse for NEO owners, offering working spaces, a library, child care services, and a trendy coffee bar, creating a welcoming atmosphere beyond what's typical of car brands. Owners have praised the NEO House for its networking opportunities, yielding more business leads than conventional advertising. In line with its user-centric approach, NEO provides comprehensive charging solutions, including fast charging, home charging setups, valet charging, and the trademark battery swapping option. This customer-centric approach ensures NEO owners enjoy convenience and peace of mind, with charging worries being a thing of the past. The success of these distinctive strategies has elevated Lee Bin and NEO to celebrity status, greeted as rock stars by their devoted fans at auto shows. NEO's stride to the forefront, unveiling the ET7. In the summer of 2020, NEO introduced its third car, the EC6, a sportier crossover version of the ES6 with shared underpinnings. This marked the culmination of the first generation cars, setting the stage for what was to come. The spotlight now shifted to the eagerly anticipated ET7, NEO's flagship large sedan, poised to become the brand's defining vehicle. During the NEO Day in January 2021, a preliminary version of the ET7 was showcased, accompanied by an impressive array of innovations, including an advanced self-driving package and semi-solid state batteries. Alongside Xpeng and LI Auto, the Chinese press referred to these startups as the three new forces in car manufacturing, highlighting their differentiation from China's established automotive giants. Stepping into the spotlight with charisma and confidence, Li Bin, NIO's founder, took center stage for the ET7 presentation, reminiscent of iconic figures like Steve Jobs and Elon Musk. The remarkable turnaround of NIO allowed him to envision a future full of promise, embodying the spirit of innovation and entrepreneurial success that set NIO apart in the dynamic automotive landscape. That's all for NIO today. As this series is a new concept at AI Review, let us know how you like it and, if yes, which automaker's history you would be interested in next.